Welcome to Pernod Crossover, the basketball show for the Filipino community. I'm your host, Jared Manitad. Thank you guys for tuning in the show. PJ, unfortunately, isn't here today. Uh, he's feeling under the weather, so hopefully he gets well soon. As per usual, I'm joined by Mr. Marky Mark. Mark, how are you doing? I'm good. Always feeling good, guys. And special guest, returning special guest, Franz Manila. Welcome back. And, and you, know, you can you. Come, came back from L.A. We'll talk about that later. How are you doing today? I feel great. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, well, we're going to get get straight to the showdown floor uh, where myself and Franz are going to match up on the showdown while discussing some basketball topics on the floor. Let's take it, to down, let's take it down to the game floor. Welcome, guys, to Pinoy Crossover Showdown. It's your boy, Marky Mark, the host for tonight. We got here on my right side, we got JR. How you feeling? You I'm ready for ready, this? I'm ready, I'm ready, ready I'm ready. Ready to throw I'm it ready. down. And on my left side, we got Franz. The friends, Manila, we call him uh, in our ball squad, we call him the Mike Miller, Filipino Miller. Miller. Mike Miller? That's and a dope nickname, man. I That's a really good nickname. I'll take Reggie Miller. But we call him Mike Miller Mike because Miller. He, uh, he always stays on one spot to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to go with Pinar Crossover Show. And guys, I'm going to give these guys topics and I'm going to make them choose a side and defend their side to see who has a better answer is you guys will decide on that, fans and audiences. So are you guys ready for the first question? Yep, yep. I'm ready. All right, the first question is, is LeBron right now a top five player of all time? Yes. In three, two, one, yeah. go. Yes, he is. Yes, he oh, is. Oh, what makes him a top five player right now? Oh, man, just, just the ability to score and being that athletic. It's, to me, he has that 19-year-old body inside the 38 30 year old mind because like he's so athletic he's built strong and like he, he's that dominant of a player uh even though you know people have some criticisms about how he's been playing how, if he's clutch or not but he's been gone he's been going to straight finals like how many straight times uh, compared to other people other players even though he doesn't have um, enough rings to match up with michael jordan and everyone but there's so many pe people that you can knock off in the top five you know you got michael jordan magic johnson larry bird and then you can add LeBron James or even um, Dr. J in that. So, you know, LeBron James is that dominant player that he, he is that top five. And there's so many criticisms, but to me, he's a top five player. What makes him a top five player? Uh, what makes him a top five player? Um, all his accolades. Uh, he's the first player ever to have uh, at least uh, 30,000 points, 8,000 assists, mm -hmm. 8,000 rebounds, and 8,000... Uh, 8, Oh, sorry, I forgot the other stat. And uh, other than that, uh, he's gone to uh, at least uh, six to seven straight finals. Um, he's le leading uh, in all categories and all the teams that he's gone on. Uh, he's won three MVPs. He's won four. Uh, he's won four regular season MVPs, uh, three finals MVPs, and uh, I believe he has now about three, three or four um, All Star MVPs. I think three. Um, yeah, he. He's still ready to go. Uh, I think he can uh, play up until uh, he's maybe like 42. <laughs> uh, maybe his, his son will like, you know, go play with, with him. him. Oh, um, man. So where, where do you rank him in terms of right now? What's your, who's your top five player of all time? Uh, number There's one, Michael Jordan. Uh, mm -hmm. Number two would be Kobe Bryant. Number three oh, would be... A Kobe, fan, Kobe guy. So yeah, can't, 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 can't number can't three would be uh, Magic. Number four would be Kareem. And number four, uh, number five would be LeBron James. That's not a bad list. That's not a bad list. Now let's go to the second question. Right now in the NBA, who is the biggest matchup nightmare? Name a player. Three, two, one. Giannis Antetokounmpo. James Harden. Oh, oh. Why, why James Harden? Uh, James Harden, you know, you know, he he can cross over anybody. You know, he's got the the three the long range. He, he can drive. You know, he can uh, you know uh, pass the ball. You know, um, uh, other things they could do is like pretty much get everybody involved. Uh, right now, he's you know number one, uh, you know ranked MVP, and you know they have the most you know winningest uh, team right now in the NBA. Uh, he's pretty much just a matchup nightmare. Uh, no matter what you do, however you guard him, he's either gonna like you know uh, cross you over or he's gonna shoot up. Uh, in front of you, or you know, he's pretty much a triple threat. Or you know, he'd kick the the ball, pass it to someone, and uh, they'd be able to make it. So, oh, I appreciate you Giannis. appreciate you bringing up James Harden because Giannis Antetokounmpo. You know, I, although they faced a, a few nights ago, and you know, Houston won that game. Giannis Antetokounmpo is an amazing player. He's long, lengthy, 
and he was able to guard James Harden. When James Harden did a step back three, he actually blocked the shot, even though he probably got, uh, got fouled on that shot for sure. But Giannis Antetokounmpo is just that lengthy and that like a, a strong, long player. He could dribble twice on a court and still make it to inside the paint with, and dunk it with like so many people inside the paint. Now, you know, Giannis doesn't have that dribbling ability. He doesn't have that shooting touch. But as he grows along the way throughout his years, he'll get even more better throughout the season. That's all we have up in our cross of Sojan showdown. You guys get to decide who won that round, who won the first one and who won the second one. It's up to you guys, audiences. What do you believe? That LeBron is a top five player or Giannis or Harden is the matchup nightmare of the NBA.